Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what you have to do to get the Twee Call tool working to download your Twitter network. First, you need to download the actual tool itself. If you look on the website for the homework, there's a link here. And if you click that, it brings up the GitHub repository for that. The download link is over here on the side. Download that zip file and save it on your desktop because all the instructions that I have for you assume that it's on the desktop. I already have it downloaded which you can see back here. Once you get it downloaded, just double click it and it'll unzip. That kind of popped up in the background. And now you can see we have this folder called Tweekol Master. That's where the actual tool is and we'll come use that in a bit. Once you have that downloaded, we're going to go back to the website for the class. And what you need to do now is set up an application in Twitter so you can authorize the app to work. You can see a link, do that here. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the Twitter development page. I already have an app, you probably don't have one, so you'll wanna go to this create new app button. Click that and then you're gonna fill out information. None of this is public and it doesn't really matter what it is. So um, I'll call this Jen's Twee Call app. I'll give it the same thing for the description. For the website, I usually just put the website for my Twitter account. And agree to everything, create your Twitter application. Once you're in there, the section that you want is called Keys and Access Tokens. Click on that, and you'll see you have a consumer key and a consumer secret. Those are the things that you have to put in a file. So I'm going to start off by copying the consumer key and then you want to open the terminal app which is under applications and utilities in your folder or you can just search for terminal. Once that opens up it's going to open in your home directory. You want to do pico.tweecall and the instructions for this are also on the homework page. That's going to open a blank file in this plain text editor. Just use command V to paste in that key that we copied. Hit enter to get a new line. And then I'm gonna go back to the browser, copy this secret, and do control V to paste that in. Now I wanna save this. The way you do that in this editor is doing control X. You can actually see that command down here at the bottom. It'll ask you if you wanna save, say yes. It gives you the file name. This is what we used when we typed the command to open this. So just hit enter and it'll save that. Now we have what we need to authorize the application. So we can close this out. And you can see here in the assignment that I've given you the instructions that you need. You can actually just copy and paste these if you want to. So here I highlighted that command. If I switch back to the terminal and paste it in, it changed the directory for us. If these commands are successful, you usually don't see any output. Uh, here we can kind of see that it changed the directory, but usually when you hit enter, if it works, nothing necessarily happens. The next thing we want to do is run this command, and you need to replace your name with your actual Twitter name. So I'm going to paste that in and replace it with Golbeck, which is my name. Now it's running, and you can see it says, go to this URL and, ask, and tell me what the pin is. So you actually copy that URL, and paste it into your browser. It's gonna ask if you wanna authorize the app, say yes. Copy this number and paste it in in response or you can just type it if you want to. And that's what you need to do to set it up. It's gonna run a bunch of this stuff and that's it's processing your information. It's gonna do that with the other commands and just one thing to keep in mind is that Twitter limits the number of commands that a program can execute every 15 minutes. So eventually, probably on the next command that you run, it'll hit something called a rate limit and then it's just gonna wait for 15 minutes before it does the next thing. That's okay. It's likely that you're gonna have to let this sit in the background and run overnight eventually. That's just how it is to get this data. So start the assignment early so you have time to let it run uh, and have it do all the pauses that Twitter requires. So this is going to go, hopefully we'll get to see this end. While that's running, I'll move this over here, and we can go back to the homework page. 
We've just finished this initialization command. Now that that's done, you can see it says done here, you're going to go on and run the next two commands. So I'm going to copy this one, paste it in and put my username where the actual username was. It starts doing some more processing and now you can see that it says HTTP error waiting 15 minutes to resume. That's not a problem. You shouldn't do anything. Just let it sit there. It's going to wait 15 minutes and it'll keep processing. Once that is complete, which may take a little while, copy this next command, put in your username. That could take many hours to run, so that's a good thing to just let it go and do overnight. And when it's finished, you'll have a file called yourusername.gml in that tweakol folder on your desktop here. You can already see it's got a .dat file for me. It'll have one. For me, it would be golbeck.gml, and that's the file that you can eventually open in Gephi.